Anyone who has ventured outside the past week has felt the brutal heat and the humidity. Now imagine being out there in a heavy jacket, thick pants, and a mask covering your entire face. It's actually a reality for firefighters across the Grand Strand and PD. Our Stephen Schlink spoke with Myrtle Beach Fire Department about how its firefighters withstand the soaring heat index. He joins us live now. And Stephen, looks like you're getting some exercise in as well. Oh yes, Eric, got to get those steps in. And I'm not alone. Earlier today when we got here this morning, that entire bay back there, as well as this driveway right here, get out of the way from this vehicle. That was full of firefighters working out, trying to stay fit. They actually tell me working out in heat like this and heat like we're going to see later this week or and into the weekend can help keep them safe when they're out there fighting fires. And a spokesperson with Myrtle Beach Fire Department says that that safety is the number one priority. A lot of times these guys and girls will say, yeah, I'm good, and they're not always thinking about their health because they want to be there for their communities. Myrtle Beach Fire Captain Jonathan Evans says dealing with skyrocketing temperatures comes with the job, but he says they do take steps to keep their brothers and sisters in red <coughs> safe. And we will uh, monitor our firefighters as they go in and come out and, and make sure they get the water and supplies they need. There's also a specific team on hand whose main focus is on the firefighters' health. Our rehab uh, team comes with all those resources, the Gatorade, the waters, the uh, protein bars, the ice, all those things, the, the fans. So we do, again, work as a team, and we have that stuff set up already to go because we know it's hot. At the helm of that team is Captain Michael Beck. He says the rehab team is essential for keeping firefighters healthy. When we get, for example, a large fire, uh, I come and set up what we call rehab. That is a place where firefighters, after they come out from the fire, they have a place where they can cool down, they can rehydrate, um, and uh, get ready to get back into action. Beck says he's been around the department since the late 90s, and he's seen firsthand why it's so important to stay cool. I've seen guys that were um, so depleted of liquids or electrolytes that they were not physically able to work or even get into health conditions where we needed to transport them to the hospital. I was also told that working out in the heat can help firefighters' bodies adjust for when they put on all that gear. And when it comes to these precautions, Captain Evans says it's simple. You got better to have them, not need them, than need them, not have them. Yeah, words to live by right there. Now, we also wondered how Horry County Police, how they keep their motorcycle officers safe. We reached out to them. A spokesperson tells us that those uh, motorcycle officers also have patrol cars that they are able to use when weather conditions get too extreme. Live in Myrtle Beach, Stephen Schling, WNBF News.